Hello Sagittarius, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all doing amazing. For those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome and cross watchers. You are definitely welcomed here as well because this is a general love reading. The roles can always be reversed. So Sagittarius, apply it to your situation. Take only what resonates, what feels true or what I'm already confirming that you know. And whatever doesn't resonate or what does not feel true to your situation, just throw it out. You definitely don't need it. So Sagittarius, let's get straight into your weekly uh, love reading. Now I will be doing a different spread. I'll be using the Celtic Cross spread. And the purpose of that is that I want to get a lot more specific into what's happening um, in your heart space right now, current situation, what could be crossing you, the past, what's the root of the issue, possibilities, near future, for example. So I just really want to kind of get to the core of this as well. Um, and if this reading does resonate with you, Sagittarius, there will be a, um, an extended um, hundred percent optional because I like to make these readings very full as well. Um, but should you, you know, you want to view the extended reading. It is the, the link is in a description box below. It's the first one underneath all the stars. So if you stick around to the end of this video, uh, Sagittarius, uh, you will see a glimpse of your extended, um, as well. I use around five different decks, pretty full on, but, uh, I do go a lot more deeper into uh, your person. So let's get straight into it. I focus also on your person's true thoughts, feelings, actions, intentions, desires, outcome, and of course, advice for both of you moving forward. That will be in the extended. All right, for Sagittarius and your heart space, what's going on right now for Sagittarius and also for the next week? Let's see, this may even spill over just until the end of the year. We don't have many days left. Let's see. For Sagittarius, please. All right, let's see. So bottom of the deck, what do we have for you, Sagittarius? We have the Two of Swords, Libra Energy. So at the moment, you could be really a little bit indecisive about someone, about a connection. Maybe you feel that you have one foot in, one foot out, maybe pretending that the problem is not there, hoping that it will go away. Um, trying to make probably a head of a heart decision. This is usually Sagittarius when you're kind of in an energy where you're finding a little bit hard to make a solid decision. Your heart is telling you one thing, but your mind is telling you to go the other way. When we get this card though, Sagittarius, Spirit is really saying that possibly within two weeks, you're gonna to have to make a decision about someone, about a connection. Should you wanna proceed or should you wanna move on? Yeah, we've got another two, see? So it's almost, you know, you're kind of like juggling the yes and no. You, you're probably feeling at the moment that you're being pulled in different directions as well. Probably juggling, you know, your work life and your personal life or anything else as well. And we also have the nine of pentacles. Interesting. And I couldn't, you know, I noticed here that we also have the six of cups, Scorpio energy. Um, this could literally be tossing up between do you want to give someone um, a chance possibly someone from your past um, but i'm seeing here that you know you're working very hard here maybe you know this person through your studies or through your work um, if not maybe this person or maybe you're deciding should i really put in all the hard work and effort i am seeing with that nine of pentacles virgo energy that you are really focused on yourself you're being independent self-sufficient resourceful self-reliable and just really focusing on a better life for yourself and that's fantastic so, Sagittarius, let's look at the current situation for you. What do we have? Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands. Now, if this hasn't happened already, Sagittarius, it is about to, quite soon. We have someone literally charging towards you. Knights are all about messages, they're all about changes. Um, it is fueled with passion. It's also fueled with love. So pretty much expect either, you know, a beautiful passionate message, um, an offer as well, but some changes that hopefully... I don't know, I kind of feel here that you, there's a part of you that wants it, possibly from someone from your past. And there's another part of you saying, well, I've already dealt with the past. I really don't want to revisit that. I'm really looking for someone new, someone that's completely not connected to my past though. Um, either way, this person is charging towards you though. This person is coming towards you and they do want to offer you something quite passionate, probably to rekindle the love and the passion. But let's see what's crossing you. What, what is it that you see that's a challenge? There you are. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. I have a feeling here that maybe you're in your own way, probably overthinking this as well. 
in a way though I don't blame you this happens sometimes when we are well we've been been burnt once twice you know and there's only so many times before you know we get burnt so many times that you're thinking okay well what's the point um I don't want to do this anymore so the cards that I did look at we're just going to take them out and apart from a reconciliation, we have the Three of Cups as well. That is also signifying reconciliation for me. Possibly could have been, um, you could have been involved in a third party here as well, though. Um, I mean, you could be dealing with another Sagittarius. We have very strong fire energy here right in the middle, though. Um, I think also what could be crossing is probably afraid that this person, if they do come back, that they're coming back with baggage. That maybe they're not coming back with peace, harmony and balance. Um, I think at the moment, Sagittarius, you... I'm really picking up, and I haven't seen those cards yet, but I'm kind of sensing that you have been through hell and back, emotionally, physically, even work-wise, financial-wise, and you're really picking yourself up. Um, so this, whoever this person is cannot come back with problems. You've really tried hard to overcome them. You're very independent with that Nine of Pentacles. You're good on your own. Um, so I think you're just worried here that what if this person comes back and it doesn't work out? What if they go back to their old habits and their old ways, though? So let's look at the past. What happened? Oh, wow. Well, the past was beautiful. You have the sun, Leo energy. Now, I will be clarifying these cards, but it's actually looking pretty good. Whoever you were dealing with in the past, once upon a time, they made you very happy and you make them very happy as well. It's a card of blessings. Maybe there are children involved or the desire to have children. The past was really good, but something happened now where you're kind of thinking, I don't know what to do with this person now. I'm not very sure. So what is the root of this issue that keeps growing, that's festering, that's simmering? What is it? Ah, the Wheel of Fortune, we've got change. There's a sense of destiny here. Now, this change is positive. Um, we do have Leo, Aquarius. We also have Scorpio and we have Taurus. Doesn't have to be. But there is a sense here of fate, of destiny. And when we say divine timing, um, I'm sure a lot of you have heard that. Um, spoken a lot with other readers on YouTube, but it's really just about perfect timing um, or really saying that there is a reason why something happened. If there's a disconnection, there is a reason why you met each other. Nothing is random, um, but we do have positive change here. And this is what's simmering at the bottom. It's kind of brewing until it starts boiling. We have change here and it's positive change. Sagittarius, you know what it feels like to be at the bottom of the wheel. It hurts, it doesn't feel good, it's uncomfortable. But now, what I like is that you're going to be on top of the wheel. Now, when that wheel goes faster and faster and faster, it's like there's no stopping you. Um, but I'm just seeing that there's happiness, and I feel like it's still there, but you've got a bit of apprehension. Is this too good to be true? What's going to happen? Let's talk about the head of this situational possibilities. Okay, so the head of the situation here is the Eight of Cups. It's Pisces energy here. Now, there could be a possibility here that, one, I'm getting maybe your person walked away from you, and two, you may be tempted to reject this person or walk away from them. Um, and you have your own reasons, and that's fair enough. You do not have to entertain every single person that comes back into your life, or even a new person. Um, but what I like is that the Eight of Cups, when you're walking away, where are you walking towards? The Nine of Cups, that is your wish fulfillment. So you are on the right track. Um, don't doubt yourself, please. And I love your attitude here is that whoever comes back into your life, whether someone that you know or someone new, they have to come back correctly. They have to enter your life correctly. No drama, no baggage, no third party, for example. But let's talk about you now. So about um, how you feel, how you view the situation. What's your energy at the moment? We've got the Page of Swords. So at the moment, I'm really thinking here that you may be a little bit apprehensive, if not nervous, to receive some news from your person. Because remember, the pages are all about messages and or some form of contact here. You may have met this person online. Um, now, that could be a dating app, could be social media, through friends. Um, now, the sword is pointing down. So you're not talking to this person. I don't know if you actually are prepared or... I don't know if you really want to talk to this person. We do have the bird there, and it's already landed on this person, this little, well, this little person's shoulder, this child's, um, that's why I'm saying there could be children involved. But I feel like you will be the receiver here of some important information. And I feel like your person wants to tell you the truth about something. Sometimes the page of swords can give you challenging news. Um, and they always say to receive it. Now, the challenging news could be telling you the truth of why there was a disconnection, why they did what they did, or if they walked away, why is it that they did that? 
Um, you know, when they say the truth hurts, I think it's necessary though. Okay, but um, you may actually be watching, also maybe hearing about what your person is doing, um, kind of around your energy, you may have the same group of friends as well though. Mm. Either way, you've got messages coming up. And that's why you're kind of indecisive, head over heart decision, what do I do, yes or no. So let's talk about your person, about what they think of you, the situation, outside influences. Let's see what comes up. It's the moon, Pisces, Cancerian energy. Your person's being quite secretive at the moment. I have a feeling they may be watching you because that is my spy card. Maybe you're watching each other and no one knows about it. Um, but your person has a lot of internal fears, internal anxieties about you and this situation. I feel like they want to get it right. That's what's happening here. Um, this is also about fantasies, illusions, possibly about the worst case scenario. I feel like they want this to work because I am seeing the reconciliation. Um, I don't know, maybe they're feeling a little bit intimidated. I really feel here that you're really going from strength to strength. Nothing can really stop you in terms of work, career, studies, you know, your finances and all that. Um, but I feel like they're being secretive here on what they're planning. And I feel like it may catch you by surprise, um, which is why you may be kind of delaying your answer is in yes or no here. So let's talk now about action, advice. What are the any hopes and fears? What's happening here? Mm, your person, I have to say, we've got the devil, Capricorn energy. They may be secretly obsessed with you. I have to say it. Yeah, the devil is a card of extremes. It's a card of temptation um, as well about dominance. Maybe your person is dealing with a karmic, maybe possibility here that your person will be walking away from a karmic once and for all, which is important. That's crossing you that they need to come back baggage free completely. They need to drop everything. Um, and yeah, I'm also just getting a bit of that obsession here, secret obsession towards you as well. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, your person here could also be secret, secretly over drinking as well, or they're doing something, they're dependent on something, and um, that's just really not good for them, I will be honest. So and remember, I will be clarifying these cards as well, though. So let's talk about likely, likely outcome, and we have the beautiful Justice card, Libra Energy. What I love is you can see that the, ba the scales are balanced in this particular deck. This is my apology card as well. It is balancing the scales. Your person could be just really hell-bent, focused, if not borderline obsessed, doing right by you, asking for an apology, making up for lost time, lost love as well. Um, I'm also getting here that maybe your person could be going through some legality, some divorce, possibly walking away or divorcing from a karmic, um, from a very toxic, very toxic dominating situation here as well. So let's clarify these cards. I kind of feel like all hope is not lost. I just see that maybe you're probably the one in this connection that is apprehensive. So we do have the Four of Wands, Aries energy. So maybe you were married to this person. Maybe they're married. Um, I am definitely seeing that there is some form of separation or divorce. Um, it is their desire to come with you, but you know, come together, celebrate. This is my marriage card, Twin Flame energy as well. There could also be a new job on the horizon, change of address. Um, maybe you have to move for work um, or just for personal reasons as well. I just saw the Emperor, more Aries energy. I do see your person taking action towards you though. Um, after leaving, you see, we got the Eight of Cups again. Whoever left, it caused the other person to really force themselves to pick up the pieces and carry on. Look what you've got now. You've got the Sun again. We're splitting the energy when I split the deck. We've got the Sun again. You make each other happy. That is the truth. Um, whatever they did, um, and look at that, you've got the star, a wish coming true, Aquarius energy. Either way, it's, uh, you're kind of not, let's just say you're not rushing back with open arms and a big smile on your face to this person. And you have your reasons why. I feel like they may have walked away from you. Um, either way, they're in the process of leaving behind a lot of people, situation, events that no longer serve them. So they're really sacrificing a lot to actually be back in your good graces and um, make up for lost time as well. So let's clarify these cards. Let's see. Let's see. What's at the bottom of the deck as well? What do we have? We have the King of Cups. Someone is really up in their emotions for you. That is strong Scorpio energy, but could also be a Pisces and also a Cancerian. Um, this is someone that I have to meet. Now they've become emotionally mature now. Um, there is probably a bit of regret that they didn't express 
all the love that they had for you. Either, you know, they didn't say it enough or they didn't express it enough. But this is someone that's holding that Ace of Cups. This is someone that's focused. They're looking straight at you. And we've got the Queen of Swords followed by Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants face-to-face -face communication with you. Capricorn energy and that Queen of Swords. Clearly, we got the sword pointing up. So I have a feeling here that your person wants to get a lot off their chest. Now, definitely this um, Queen of Swords is renowned that this is someone that could be, worst case, widowed. Um, could also be separated, divorced, and sometimes, you know, people don't really view this person in the best of light. They don't mean to be, you know, at least to come across as, you know, someone cold. Um, it's only because past circumstances have made them, well, you know, just a bit apprehensive. I'm also picking up a little bit of your energy because we have the Two of Swords and we have the Two of Swords again. So there is that need to Oh, what do I do? I don't know if I want this person back, though. So you're really all up in your head um, about this, though. But your person will be presenting with that Ace of Pentacles. That is that big, fat coin. Um, and that is a solid offer. That is commitment. So let's clarify the Knight of Wands. The star again. The current situation is that you are going to have a wish come true. This is destiny. You've got two cards here showing destiny. Just to reiterate, there is a reason why. A reason. A very specific reason why Sagittarius... You've met this person in the past, or well, they've met you. There is a reason why they want to disconnect, you know, reconnect with you. Sorry, I almost said disconnect there. Um, but this is a, honestly what I like is that you're healing. This is the return of health, being positive, trying to put up that strong front. Um, but we have a wish coming true, and I feel like it will be for both of you. So let's clarify the temperance card. Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. So what could be crossing the fact that I'm already picking up there could have been a third um, party? Maybe your person was already in a committed relationship. Maybe they were actually married as well. Um, but I am I'm, honestly, what I'm getting here, that could have been a challenge here. And as much as they're coming back, you know, you know, with the, you know, the balance and the harmony and all that, there was lack of that in the past, though. Maybe things didn't end on a really good note. Um, I'm kind of feeling like some of you are not talking and there's another group of you that are kind of talking here and there. But the thing is, they do see commitment with you. They do. They see marriage with you. Um, but that's the thing. It's like they wanted to give you so much more, but they couldn't, though. So let's continue. Let's talk about the sun. We have the death card. Yep. So showing this came to an abrupt, cold, bitter end. Those are the words that just got downloaded onto me. Um, strong Scorpio energy, but it's also about transformation. But I'm really seeing here that with all that happiness, what happened in the past with that death card, it was like the sudden death of happiness. It was the end of happiness. And I really feel here that both of you are not happy at all, especially without each other, though. But what I love is that this is transformation. This is a card of fate. It's also about sacrificing. Um, your person has realized now in the past, they should have sacrificed a lot more to be with you and they didn't. Now they're willing to though, because you know, the wheel is all about changing the death card. It's all about transformation. So let's clarify that wheel of fortune. Wow, look at this. Now you've got your absolute devouring counterpart, your power couple, the king and the queen of pentacles. Your person's going to come back around. They want commitment, stability with you. Yep. Commitment, stability, commitment, marriage. This person wants to take care of you. This person actually could also be a boss, manager, entrepreneur, business owner, company owner, um, doing startups. Either way, they're very generous with their money. Um, only to those people that they really care about, which is you. So there is something that has transformed. Something has changed with your person. Wow, and they want you. Now they want stability, they want security, and it's only with you. It's the only thing they think about. So let's clarify that Eight of Cups, Four of Wands. Yeah, so this is basically the Libra energy, and I said Four of Wands, sorry, this is Four of Swords. This is all about gathering one's mental strength. It's mental burnout. I'm really feeling here that as a possibility here that your person is gathering up their mental strength, the mental energy, because they know they will need it. Only because, honestly, they I feel like they're already sensing that you really don't know how you're going to respond to this person. And they're going to have to be patient with you. That's the thing. Take it one day at a time. Um, it's not good to rush any Sagittarius at all. Um, and I know that you don't like to be put in a box in being rigid, you know, environments here. Um, but your person, here, they are gathering up their mental strength, energy, um, mental stamina, whatever it is, because they know they will need it to face you. So let's clarify you. You are the page of 
um, swords and this is what we've got. This is how you're seeing the situation. So I have a feeling that you were blindsided. Absolutely. So if your person just walked away, if they ghosted you, whatever they did to cause this disconnection, um, you were blindsided. You didn't see it coming at all. You didn't sense it. You didn't see it. Things were going great. And then boom, you got the tower and that was the end of the happiness here. You know what it feels like, Sagittarius, to be in that tower. You know what it felt like when it came crashing down. Um, and you've been forced to, you know, rebuild that tower with better blocks to move on with your life. It's been, it's been painful. It's been a long road, but you've been doing it. So I, I understand now why you're apprehensive. You're seeing the situation as, well, this tower can fall all over again. And all that work I did for myself was for nothing. So I understand now your apprehension. I understand your indecision. Absolutely. Let's clarify the moon card. Wow, look at this. Your person's being super secretive. You know, the moon is already about secrets and now we've got secrets here again. And I almost feel that when your person did this, whatever they did to you, they were in self-denial. Um, and I have a feeling here, I mean, sometimes the Seven of Swords is about lying, cheating, stealing, being strategic, doing things behind your back, but then getting called out on it. Um, you know, even thinking that they're being cunning here. So I am very inclined to say that your person may have been tempted possibly by a third party, a person or a situation. They listened to the wrong people. I feel like it was very impulsive. You're seeing as what they did was very impulsive and very, very immature. I have to admit, and yes, it was. But I have a feeling here that whatever they're planning, they're doing it very secretly. And for a very long time, they were in denial. Like, no, it was the right thing. What I did to Sagittarius, it was the right thing. But you're just lying to yourself because their intentions of what they want for you, it's pure. It's so much more different. There's a major turnaround here. Um, I, I'm definitely going to say is take your time because it's almost like you don't want to just reopen those wounds again. So let's clarify the devil. Ten of Cups. It's going to allow your person or the situation, this whole connection to get out of that devil energy, out of that toxicity. I'm definitely going to say home life for your person is not good at the moment. Um, there could be, I've got the word broken family. Um, so definitely for some of you, there could be children involved as well. But they see happily ever after with you. And what they're afraid here is that you may reject them as well. So then they'll have nothing. As the saying goes, they lost you and then they realize they lost a whole lot more. So that's talk, talk about shooting yourself in the foot here. But we end with, you know, the justice card, which is balance. Now, the scales are balanced. Your person wants to do right by you. What do we have? Yeah, the chariot. They're coming straight to you. This is by far the fastest card in the entire deck. The fastest major arcana. This is determination to be victorious with you, to win you back. Your person could be at a distance. They don't have to be, but either way, they want to see you face to face, especially with that page of pentacles. That's like, we need to talk face to face here. Spirit said to get one more. There we go. No wonder they did. Judgment, Libra, Scorpio, energy. That's them asking for a second chance. They've had a rude awakening. It's like a slap in the face that they got. Not literally. I mean, I don't know if you slapped them, but um, don't, probably don't do that. Um, but it's a rude awakening. It's like spirit slapping them in the face saying, look what you did. Look at the mess that you caused with Sagittarius. You made each other happy. Whatever you did, you listened to the wrong person. Were you tempted here? Either way, home life for them is not good. You're not there anymore, Sagittarius, to hold their hand. And we've got cards here saying they're determined to win you back and they will be asking you for a second chance. But I do see you taking your time, taking your sweet time, um, probably leaving their messages on red or saying, you know what, I need time to think about this. I will call you um, probably next month. Trust is a major issue here as well, though. Definitely. Um, what they did was just it was very unjust. It was very unfair. And they know that. Absolutely. So what I'm going to do now, especially for those that are new to my channel, I am going to pause this video. When I unpause it, you will see a glimpse of your extended, where I'll be focusing 100% on your person. I want to see the messages now beyond everything that I've just said here. So bear with me, Sagittarius. I'll just pause the video. One second. All right, welcome back, Sagittarius. As you can see, I have five different decks and it looks like a lot, and it is, there is a lot to get through. But just to reiterate, especially for those that are new to my channel, this is basically what I'll be doing for your extended. I'll be focusing 100% on your person and the messages now beyond um, their true thoughts and feelings about you and this connection and their return. Um, their intentions, desires, agenda, 
um, their actions, outcome, and of course, advice for both of you moving forward. So I'll be starting off with the Everyday Witches Tarot. I'll be clarifying with the Mystical Cats Tarot. And then I'll be using the Romance Angel Oracle cards, beautiful messages and advice moving forward. The Yes and No cards. Um, sometimes we do get timing, so you can get a rough idea of when things can unfold for you, Sagittarius. And my favorite deck is the Twin Flame Messages. So right now, if your person could say anything to you, whatever is deep in their heart right now about you, Sagittarius, what would they say? What are they dying to tell you? You know, if they were not afraid of fear, uh, well, of fear, <laughs> if they were not afraid of fear, rejection or judgment, um, and you're not a judgmental person, Sagittarius, but you know, that's probably what they're afraid of, of being judged. What would they say to you? What are they dying to tell you? What is in their heart right now? I'll be pulling out around nine cards and also looking at the bottom of the deck. So Sagittarius, the link to the extended is in the description box below underneath the stars. I'll see you on the other side. But if this is where we depart, Sagittarius, I wish you the very best, um, especially if it resonated with this reading. I hope that healing love, unity, clarity is all yours moving forward. And may the rest of this year be absolutely magical for you, Sagittarius. You absolutely deserve it. Until next time, take care. Bye.